Marnie says the dry chow up here it just tastes better. <laughs> uh, Tucks hopped down, then he ran back up. He's hungry. This is a little after nine. Feels nice out here in the 60s. Well, we've got sun today. We're still under, I guess, a code orange. But, um, with the temps this cool right now, it feels pretty easy breathing. And I also looked at I radar and our radar, my radar, my radar, and it's really dissipated a lot north of us. And we may be sort of catching the tail end, but it's all good. Yeah, my little tree. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. Hopefully it'll stay that way. <sighs> Got just a little bit of stuff to do out here with those flowers before we get back to or into hazy, hot, and humid for the summer. There you are, Panther. Hey, buddy. Good morning. You got you a nice view out here today, like always. Have you passed the flowers? Good morning, Gray. Hi, that's the I'm happy I've got chicken meow, right? I'm just loving these cooler mornings where Tux feels like he can hang near the back of the house without having to hide in the ferns. Don's pulling out them jewels. We're headed for our walk. It's gorgeous. We're out here. Uh, the air smells fine. It's just a little hazy, maybe. Maybe the sky's milkier, but we, you know, that white versus blue, but we get that in the summer all the time anyway. I don't know, the map was a little less, we're still in the yellow area on that map I've been following, but not, uh, not worse. This is a kingbird. He's very pretty. I saw him yesterday. Good morning, buddy. Yeah, he's pretty. We don't see them in the yard, too many trees. They're more of an open area kind of a bird. Can we make it so that our whole walk is like the next hundred feet? We just go back and forth here in the cool shade with a little bit of the dampness coming off the creek down there and the birds chirping. Yeah, I heard a woodpecker this morning. I heard him right outside the back of our house. Yeah, he was on video the other day. I'm pretty sure that's just a red-headed woodpecker and not the pileated guy. I can be wrong, though, since I didn't actually see him. But we have at least three types of woodpeckers in our yard. Downy, red-headed, and the pileated. We're really lucky to have the pileated. He, he likes the denser forest. The red-headed and the downy. They're all over NC, whether you have a far, you know, too much of a forested yard or not. <sighs> yeah, the splash pad is doing a booming business today. The guys over at the church are super busy. It is hazy though. I, I definitely see haze in the air. That's not our usual guys. But he is out there getting the ball field ready for games tonight. I see that the dirt area is marked already. We usually aren't able to beat the deer to the blackberries, but the thought of cobbler is yum, yum, yum. So I've got several Lego things to share. Uh, number one is it's two times the points right now. And if you ever buy Legos, you really ought to have a VIP account and take advantage of the two times the points stuff. I ordered a couple of 41757, which is the brand new botanical garden, and um, it's a pretty amazing set with several new, um, new to this set Lego pieces. I am going to be building um, this copy of it by Brick Artisan, Kim Plata. It is 2,183 parts. Um, it's two of the Lego set plus 103 extra white parts, which are easy to order. I mean, super easy to order. He gives you a parts list of just those 
extra parts needed and it is a modular so the roof comes off and he's put some pictures up on Facebook let me pull it up that shows what it will look like in your city next to your big modular buildings yeah that's not the best photo I saw but it is um good enough for me because I know the scale of this particular building and then how this is looking next to it so um by putting the two sets together, he completed the dome and he made it the right scale for one of, you know, to be the garden area beside one of these buildings. So it's going to take a couple weeks. Legos um, back ordered until June the 22nd. That kit could have gone up to Crabtree, but I've got other stuff to do. And I, you know, just online was just easy. But that's coming up. That's going to be, you know, um, end of June, early July. Build. So it just so happens that the same guy that designed the modular botanical garden is the one that did my um, brick separator house, uh, this one here. And um, I had pretty much planned all along to build the dark turquoise version of it as well. And I have those separator parts it's a tool that you that people use. It's not really a brick that was meant to be a brick, but Kim, since they come f in all of the kits, and there were a lot of them sitting around, it just seemed like the right thing to do with this stuff. So um, I thought this thing was going to keep on scrolling. Anyway, I'm going to start on that building, and um, you know, just like it looks in this picture, one will be going one direction and one will be going the other direction. It's basically two corner buildings and then you could obviously put something else in the middle. But um, I'm kind of happy to work on that, excited to work on it. I have chosen mm, light azure or dark azure to go in with the turquoise. He has, um, I think... He has um, just green, you know, done green, a regular medium green accents. And I think I'm going to like the contrast, like the orange and the yellow here is pretty good contrast. I think I'm going to like the contrast more of a, of a different shade of blue and not this green. It's too close, I think. But we'll see what I end up doing. Uh, no reversing of the instructions needed because all you do is spin the building around so same set of instructions but i will have to keep up with everywhere that's orange is now dark turquoise and everywhere that's yellow is probably this um dark aqua you thumbing it up donnie yeah thumbing it up. god bless good old sandy yeah, and, corey, <laughs> and corey yeah, yeah. what are you spouting off in here well i'm watching these cnbc guys talk about um the tesla uh in uh, north america nacs charging standard just said that it's very possible the United States government is going to have to adopt NACS as the standard. And before for what they, they're trying to they, roll out. That's right. Yeah. Remember part, I don't know if it's the IRA or the infrastructure bill, but basically there's these bills that are, uh, are policies that are going out there, have passed Congress, that are supposed to spend, put in a half a million charging stations. I said when I heard about that a year ago, I said, Biden needs to call Elon. You did. And sit and, and just do exactly whatever Elon tells him to do. Don't change a comma. Don't dot an I. Whatever Elon says do, just do it, Biden. And I believe, as pathetic as I always am, <laughs> I'm going to be right about this one. <laughs> Right, well, maybe we should be thanking Ford. We're coming over to the quote-unquote dark side before the government started rolling out too much stuff. Because right. Ford, I mean, Tesla offered it, but Ford picking, That's right. to me, is the catalyst behind let's not get stuck with that CCS plug. Right. I like the way Sandy put it. I'm getting a hurdy over here. Well, Corey, well, Corey. What all Elon needs to do, or, or Biden... I'm be open mind. All Biden needs to do is go get uh, Mrs. Biden. What's her name? Joyce? Jill. Jill. Donnie. Um, no, I wasn't trying to be ugly. Jill, uh, she's a doctor, right? She's got a PhD. Yeah, she's something. very smart. Very smart. She needs, he needs to go out there and have her charge her CCS car or charge a Tesla. And let's see how Jill 
likes which one will Jill choose and all guys know you need to listen to your wife okay so and we know which one Jill's gonna and choose. we know which one all hundred and ten right as Sandy Jill's said his choose. very pretty wife <laughs> is right. how, what I, I don't know exactly what he said but he something to the effect of she doesn't weigh a lot and that's yeah. true that's right Don met her in yep, person have. and um you know, she didn't want to mess with that CCS plug either. Of, well, plus yep. the unreliability. She said, he said when they go, uh, uh, Sandy said when they go visit the sun, they always take the Tesla. Because she loves her Rivian, except for she loves the to be able to get there and back and not uh, get stuck and stranded. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I said it yesterday. And based on something that they just said four minutes into this video, now I'm going to say it again. This is like deciding that on American soil, the American automakers are going to win because we already have the right charging infrastructure that's American company owned. Yeah. And we already have three American car companies now agreeing together that they're going to use it. Yeah. And we know that there's a great potential that the infrastructure rollout that's going to happen in America now is going to be swayed by this decision yeah. because honestly, really, and, and I, I'm saying this nicely, Pr President Biden, his administration, the policy going out, they're going to, they need for Ford and GM. I realize in the past, I haven't cared about Tesla worth a flip, but they care about Ford and GM they're going to have to roll out what Ford and GM have now said they're going to use. They're not going to get away with rolling out what Volkswagen is rolling out, the CCS, the other stuff, because the, the, they're, the, the American car makers that they're in bed with have said they're using NACS. Right. So I think that's done deal there. These guys, I have to say they made two good points. Uh, the first point is that this, there isn't going, we already, uh, the statement when uh, Ford went to uh, uh, NACS, or right around that window, they somebody, it was said that most cars, most electric cars already use NACS. That's true. Because in North America, because most electric cars in North America are Teslas. That's right. All right. So this, the, these people made that, built on that point and said, is there enough electric cars that stay with CCS to make EV go and all electrify America? These people who don't adopt NACS standard, the charging networks. In other words, there's not going to be enough crumbs left over for the CCS networks, CCS only providers. So the CCS networks, they're going to have to go to N, uh, NACS. Even if they don't want to, they're still going to have to do it. So because there's not enough other electric cars out there anymore, because now remember all the electric cars, GM and Ford, they're and and they're selling a lot of GM with the right plug or not they've got an adapter they, they'll got, have an adapter so they're, yeah they're forcing the hand I mean at, at this point and the other thing the guy said this is not uh, like Android versus iPhone where you've got two competing things and they both survive you know they both have their merits of, you know all that this is not that this is Betamax VHS right. and Tesla you know Betamax was first uh, oh, Betamax is great. Uh, everybody and, and VHS can buy a clean Betamax's clock. What's our guy? We like the technology yeah, t connections. Technology, technology connections, connections guy. If you've never YouTube watched one channel. of his videos, you should. He's entertaining, and yeah. I love his background. Yeah. And he's got he owns a um, Ionic Five, yeah, and uh, which is a sort of newish to him. Yeah, uh, and he's right. done a little content about that. But he explains stuff that I can understand electricity things. Yeah. Um, technology but stuff. technology stuff. And um, I was going to make a point about him in particular, and now I can't remember. Uh, well, oh, he had a video recently about VHS and Betamax, oh, right, and he yeah. explained exactly right. why VHS cleaned their clock. Right. Uh, basically, uh, more expense for beta and couldn't hold anywhere near as much the, data, the data for the size right. of the tape, and they just... It was a size issue. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Imagine Double that. Speed. Yeah, that's, that's, I don't know. So it. anyway, he, he did a great job because I never understood why right. Sony lost. Right. Okay. But now I under. But after watching that, it was really quite fascinating. For forty-five minutes, we watched it. It was pretty interesting. Right. And one more, just little tidbit here. Remember, Teslas in South Korea use NACS. In other words, Tesla, when it sells uh, Teslas in South Korea, they're all NACS cars. They're using the North American standard in South Korea. So now, this, and there's a ton of superchargers, although I have to say there's a lot of high-speed DC fast chargers uh, in um, South Korea, uh, CCS type stuff, but the point being is at this point, South Korea, which is Hyundai, which is an, all the Ionic and Kia, they're from South uh, Korea, they could very well be the very next people uh, that move to this because the fact that they're already have the foot in the door with uh, uh, North, having to compete with North uh, NACS in, in South Korea. Right. Yeah, that's a that's definitely. And then of course that solves point. the problem over here too. So you know, they just want to sell electric cars. On the Triangle Tesla virtual meetup last night, it will be of no surprise that the GM thing of uh, adopting NACS came up as a topic for oh, conversation. Sure. I believe Don may have started that after we answered some new owner or some uh new again owner questions someone had a model s plaid yay <laughs> go plaid um and some good questions yep. uh we learned something we learned about the folding mirror the odd aud the autom power. automatic folding of mirrors as you enter your garage they don't unfold until you get back up to 31, 31 mile an hour. an hour so she's basically down the street a ways and then the mirrors might eventually open for her right um we don't even though i have to make sure i don't take off ruby's mirror every time i come out of the garage not as much going in but coming out um I, we don't use that feature so anyway and, I, and after hearing how it works we won't be adopting that feature yeah. either <laughs> but um the point that uh, i think i brought up or talked about a little bit is uh would tesla want to take over uh, the EA charger network. Is there oh, wow. anything for Tesla with any of these other high-speed charger networks? EA is just one of them, but would is there any reason why they would want to take it over? And I guess my my thoughts were no. They're not uh the but the 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 um permitting and the leasing are the most complicated parts of putting in a supercharger. The actual bring in the slab, get a qualified electrician, get a contractor. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. But, you know, they've crashed and burned in a few places they wanted to be because they couldn't get leasing rights or they couldn't, um, the permitting took uh, nine months or some, you know, s stuff. And we know how bureaucracies can be. I can only imagine why permitting would have taken nine months in some cases. Like, we don't want that Tesla thing here, but I digress. So anyway, I, I think no. Because the slabs, the way they drop in, the people that they've partnered with for their locations, et cetera, et cetera, that stuff is just not going to jive. So I say no. I mean, yeah, the transformer's there. They've already run the electricity to the site to be capable of handling the high-speed charging. So that's a plus. But after that, I don't think there's any pluses. So I guess time will tell on, on that. And if you've got an opinion viewers you can yeah. let us know what you think but yeah. i don't see it i think they got their plan i think half the time when they ask us where they should go next they've already started the process of going there you right. know there's this voting stuff happening now and i think um yeah. that that's uh makes us feel good and they're just already throwing them out so fast that any place we could come yeah. up with they're already after it so i don't know but that'll be interesting to see well remember the times ticking by on Electrify America's 10-year commitment. Yep. So, um, I don't, it couldn't be more than two more years, uh, uh, you know, so maybe in 2020, into 26, or start sometime in 2026 it goes away. And poor Electrify America has had so many problems with all these different CCS chargers manufacturers you know they buy them from whoever they can uh sandy actually made a point and and quoted quoted kyle, kyle, kyle yeah Connor yep yep Andy on, in his uh commentary on the 
GM announcement uh, of adopting the North American Charging Standard uh, quoted Kyle uh, uh, Connor of um, uh, Out of Spec Motoring, you know, our friend, and because uh, Kyle's been saying all along ABB needs to license Tesla supercharger technology, and you know, hopefully, uh, Sandy says by all means go out there and do it because the clock's ticking. You know, you you North America is going to go. Uh, North American charging standard that you can try to do CCS roll your own, but uh, at this point, you know, it's just be better to go license it from Tesla and be done with it and try to compete. Yeah, it, who owns uh, ABB? Who they're, owns? They're uh, their own company. They're Siemens. Uh, but ABB. but are they American? Are oh, they? They're, they're from Europe. They're European Europe. Company. Yeah. Well, I guess you know, being uh, American manufacturing jobs, you know, thinking from oh, that sure. frame of mind. We sort of found out with COVID a little bit that we offshored some stuff that oh, maybe we shouldn't thing. have offshored. Yeah. So if I'm going to be driving around in an electric car in the United States, I would really like to know that my equipment helped with American jobs and was manufactured in America and that we know what we're doing with all of this stuff. So yeah. I don't know. I just... That would be my preference. That would be if we're, you know, we were going to put our money where our mouth is. And we've been talking about trying to, and this is not just the current administration. This was the previous administration too. We need not to lose our technology. We need to manufacture on our own soil. We need to, you oh. know, execute that. Then this just seems like a really good place to do that to me. Well, yeah. And again, because of the, the combo one CCS standard, I'm not talking about the stuff in Europe. I'm talking about over here. It's so poorly implemented. It's, it's such a monstrosity and it's so unreliable over here and that nobody seems to want to fix it. So, you know, let's just, you know, Tesla's already, why why keep going down that trail? In fact, uh, again, Sandy had said, you know, please, God, uh, Rivian, stop that adventure network. Stop going there. You know, my wife wants you to go, you know, sign a deal with Tesla. Right. Well, I think, did I not say two months ago, why in the world would Rivian still be rolling out that adventure network? Have you looked at where the Tesla superchargers are now? Yeah. I mean, unless you're going to, unless they're going to put one at the top of Pike's Peak yeah, or something. and, you know, like, uh, well, they can, still do they can come put it on tail of the dragon at yeah. wherever spot Kyle tells them is yeah. the most yeah. critical yeah. one at each end of the yeah. dragon, maybe. If they could be, te if they could hurry, be, because Tesla's going to be on the tail of the dragon. Right. I mean, soon. I could see a few specific places in the United States where that adventure thinking would be. We just lost the sun outside. Your whole lighting changed when that happened. Right. <laughs> As the videographer, I'm noticing. Um, you know, but I just really couldn't quite grasp why they would, why they cared so much about that. Um, I, you know, and, and, you know, I don't know how profitable that would be because the number of people that care about those remote locations is kind of small. But, but we'll see. But yeah, I, I guess I agree with what Sandy said. Yeah. Yeah. God, not Ross, this other guy. He goes, I don't think Tesla makes any money on the chargers. Oh my God. He really needs to go educate himself. He's not thinking he's not, not Ross. It wasn't oh, Ross. Ross was didn't host. say it. Um, I didn't give Ross a chance. Maybe Ross is going to explain yeah, why that's not explain. true. Or maybe being the Tesla long person that he is, he could just keep his mouth shut and let the guy keep thinking that. This is the guy who said that uh, this is the host of the show. Yeah, they're not, Tesla's not Last making call. any, Tesla's not making any money on the chargers. <laughs> Don made a good point to me after I stopped filming, but these analysts, they're so like two years ago or four, or years, four years. It's ago. like if as Sandy has said multiple times, if you blink, Tesla has made a change. I, right. I mean, so yeah, back when we got Ruby, Tesla may not have been making any money on the charging network. And it they, was and it was, it, maybe it was cost. Of, right. Was but today... Like if you did your research before you inserted your foot in your mouth, Mr. Analyst, yeah. then you might would have a grasp of some yeah. the electrical stuff and yeah, I, not have said what he said. But let's see if Ross corrects him. I want to know. We'll I've decided the yellow is going to be medium azure. I'm going to put dark azure on the corner. Um, obviously, the other color is dark turquoise. I took a picture, which I'll put up here, which kind of shows the choices that I had. Um, 
And this was just what I preferred. I thought it had the best contrast and clashed the least, you know, coordinated the best. I'm missing these one by two dark bluish gray pieces. No sweat to come back and add those later. I'm going to take a break and go water stuff outside. It's gotten dry. Um, I might be back to this later. I might not. It's, it's a good start for now. Johnny has dropped off at Taekwondo and headed to his father's for the weekend. We need some um, ready whip stuff for strawberries. So this showed up since this morning. Don said kitten that's the track where they put those marks down that they was going to redo part of the track that's why that's here and they just kind of redid the lines on the track uh we didn't point that out so yeah i get that i'm just like why right after the splash pad opens don says because it's um baseball season, baseball season is about done Although they're playing tonight, so it's not done yet, but then also they hadn't started yet. Probably Monday? Yeah, they're not gonna. They're not, I'm thinking they're not working tomorrow or Sunday. All right, well hopefully I'm counting on them to get it done in a couple of days. <laughs> Be speedy about it. Apply themselves. Yeah, the splash plant's plenty busy still.